first one, these are 30 second, no, 35 second intervals with 10 seconds rest. We're gonna do it six times, so it's a 27 minute workout. Um, jump squats, squat jumps, you guys know what jump squats are, right? Squat down, you can do pop squats, or you can just do regular, just squat jump. So you squat down, and you jump up as high as you can, you land in your squat, and you come back up. Okay, a pop squat would be touch the floor, jump up, down like that. Okay, so you can do either one of those, and if both of them are too much, just do a regular squat, just body weight squat, feet, face, toes forward, and just come down into your squat, push your hips back up, if you need to hold on to your chair. Then for balance, that's fine too. Um, just make sure that your knees don't come past your toes. You're sitting back and your heels when you do, okay? Um, the T push ups, you guys know what T push ups are, right? Why do we just keep saying These are gonna do push ups on your feet. Go down into your push up. When you come up, you twist, your entire body twists so that everything is facing the other wall. Don't just bring your arm up like that, okay? That doesn't count. All the way down, come up. Everything twists to the side. So you're doing side plank, okay? If you're coming down on your knees for your push-up, drop gently down to your knees, come back into plank, and you come up, and then twist, okay? The guys, I didn't know if this is going to be hard enough, so the other alternative was going to be reptile push-ups, where you bring one of your knees into your, that safe elbow. So you come down like that and push back up, okay? And then you just alternate sides. And then... Oh, that looks fun. If, if you don't want to do the push-ups on your knees, if you still want to do them on your toes but it's too hard on the floor, then you can do them here and come to side plank on your chair, okay? So either knees or the incline would be your modification. Ab splitters. Okay, guys, I'm not sure what we can do for the modification for this, so you guys can help me think of something. There's three moves, okay? You need to come up, touch <laughs> your toes, and then you do a slit, and then you come around and touch your ankles, okay? And then you're done. Toes, slit, ankles, okay? So I'm thinking for the modification, we should just do like a, I don't know, maybe crunch up. Maybe just crunch here, and then just out. So just, it's all crunches. You're still doing the movements and getting yourself up as high as you can. If you can't get all the way up. Does that make sense? Um, the hop overs. So these, I used to do these on a bench with like the bench behind my client. We don't have that. So we're gonna pretend that we're hopping over a bench. So if you want to push your chair up against the wall, if you're more comfortable having the wall to kind of hang on to, um, basically you want to keep this leg bent and keep all your weight on that leg and pretend that you're hopping over the bench. So you want to like lift your leg up enough to like clear the bench and come back over. You keep that leg bent and you're just going to do that hop over motion, keeping all your weight on that leg. Okay, I promise you, 35 seconds, you'll start to feel burn. I'm hard to do. <laughs> Your hop overs on the other side, and then your triple knee tuck is outside mountain climber, middle, and then inside. So you bring your uh, knee to the outside of your elbow, right in the middle, and then to the other, and then you switch legs, okay? Your modification is here on an incline, so you do outside, middle, inside, switch legs. With this one, it's just important to keep your hips down, keep your abs contracted, like someone's gonna come and punch you, keep your abs tight. Okay, and then get that oblique twist. It's like a side crunch when you pull your knee up, crunch. You pull your knee in, crunch, okay? Um, so six rounds, 27 minutes. I got my playlist today. <laughs> you guys ready for it? Yeah. 